Hey, that's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, <laughs> and this is Microwave Insanity. What are we calling the show today? We're switching roles. Yes, we are. <laughs> I hope this thing goes boom. I forgot your line. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, Colin. Hey, come on, come on. Show what are we going to do this week? Turn around. What is it? Air pops. Air, Air cartridge. cartridge. Yeah, so this is... Air plane. <laughs> your Coco Co. So, this is compressed CO2. I hope that when we uh, nuke these things, they go boom. So, let's. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So watching this video made me curious about why some metal sparks in microwave and others doesn't. So I did a little research and here's the deal. The things inside your microwave are just being bombarded with electromagnetic radiation, right? So if it's something that's gooey like your arm or like uh, food, then it just responds by getting hot. If it's well laid out metal, then it responds by just taking that electric magnetic, electromagnetic radiation and passing it all over the place. So if you have flat aluminum foil, it's it's passing it all over. It's it's buzzing around, but it's not doing anything. It's not sparking. If you have um, the sometimes microwaves come with like a grid, like a little metal shelf, like wire shelf, and that doesn't do anything because the electricity in it is allowed to sort of flow around. But if you take something like a fork or crumpled up aluminum foil, then it has all these areas where it wants to gap. It wants to you know go from one spot to another across the air, and then like a spark plug or like in front of you, you get this sort of thing. And then it just sort of stopped for a while. So two minutes went by and nothing happened. And then we got this glorious result. <laughs> Which I was totally psyched about. So let's check this out in slow-mo. Now my plan was to keep blowing these things up <laughs> until I ran out or you know get some more footage make it awesome but this destroyed the microwave so don't do this at home it's the fourth microwave I've destroyed in four weeks so um I don't know hopefully you see fit to like and favorite the video help me recoup some of this all right so uh, like I said if you like the video be sure to give it a like if you really liked it I guess you could favorite it um if you just enjoy the microwave stuff then you can subscribe to the show with that bottom blue box if you also like video games and you subscribe to my channel I put out content just about every day where I talk about you know gaming and life in general and such uh, two videos you may have missed uh, the bottom one is wife Wednesday I picked it because it's one of my favorite wife Wednesdays ever and it was just this most recent one and the top one is microwave insanity where you can see me microwave other ridiculous things we get explosions and we also have some that are safe for you to try at home. So anyway, I hope you like the video and have a good day. So I've been throwing bonus footage on the end of my microwave series on just about every video for nearly a month now, I think. And this is what the cartridge did. It got really hot inside, it expanded, and it had nowhere to go. I kind of thought it was going to burst out the tip and like, shoot somewhere like directionally but the tip looks as good as new it just heated up and blew out the side so there you have it <laughs>